Welcome to the Storyo 2 video series. In this lesson, we are going to go over the timeline module, in particular, how to create and edit index cards. Go ahead and select the time travel sample and go to the timeline module. In the last lesson, we went over sequences and how to manage them. Each sequence can have multiple index cards attached to it. Select the index card button on the first sequence, Bill at School. A new window will appear showing you all the index cards attached to that sequence. In this instance, there are three index cards. You can treat these cards the same way you treat sequences. You can move them around to order the sort. You can create a new sort ordering by selecting the Save Card Ordering As button. You can flag one ordering as the default sort order if you have more than one ordering. And you can edit and create new index cards. Let's create a new card. Click on the Add New Card button. In the Edit Card window, a blank index card is created. Click on the title to enter a short description of that card. Click on the lines of the card and type a description. Just like normal index cards, you can also enter information on the back of the card. When you close the Edit Card window, you will see the new card on the Index Card Canvas. You can then drag and drop the card to a different location. When you do so, you will need to save the sort order before you leave this screen. Next, let's say you want to add some existing index cards from other sequences to this order. Select the Add Existing Card button. You will be presented with a list of index cards from all sequences. Select a card or cards you want to add to this index card ordering. You can tell that these new cards are from different sequences because the color of that sequence comes over. You can leave the color as is or you can modify it. Click on the Edit button for the card. Select the Color button and select a new color. Now, this card, Abraham Lincoln, is not a duplicate of the Abraham Lincoln card. It is the actual card. Let me explain this further. Save and close this window. Go to the Civil War sequence and edit the index cards. Notice that the color of the Abraham Lincoln card changes. Let's edit this card here and type something new, anything at all, and I'm going to actually make some of the text red. Now, let's go back to the Jurassic sequence and edit the Abraham Lincoln card. So, as you can see, it's really the same card appearing in both places. If you wanted to duplicate a card from one sequence to another, or to the same ordering and then change only the duplicated card, click on the Duplicate Card button. This creates a duplicate of that card, which is unique from the original card, which you can then modify and add to another index card ordering. So, as you can see, there is a lot of flexibility with what you can do with index cards. If you want to match all the index card colors to the Timeline Segment Color, select the Match Index Card Color to Segment Color option from the Index Cards pull-down menu. Now, let's do a little more with index cards. If you want to move a card to another sequence, select the Move button and select the target sequence. You can also attach images to index cards. Select the sequence, The King and His Daughters, and select the first index card titled Princess Sheila. Click on the Picture tab, and then select the Camera button. I'm going to select a picture of a castle, and I'm going to enter a label here for that picture. And you can print an index card report with pictures. I want to show you another report. This one is the Timeline 
outline report. And this will show you the sequences and the index cards attached to the sequence underneath it. You can print the report directly from here. Another set of reports you can run are the index card reports. Select print from the file pull down menu or select the print button on the toolbar. Select the index cards module and you will see all the index card reports. Select the report you want to preview or print. Select the page setup desired. Then select print. You can preview the report by going to the next page. And when you are ready to print the report, select the print button. If you don't want to print the report, simply close the window. If you want to print it to PDF, select the print button. If you're on a Mac, select the PDF button on the bottom left hand side of the screen. If you are on Windows, you can install a virtual PDF printer from a third party called Primo PDF or Nitro PDF, for example, and then print to the PDF printer. That wraps up this lesson. In the next lesson, we're going to go over importing and exporting a screenplay and how you can use Storyo to write your screenplay without even using a screenplay program. <laughs>